Welcome to iLecture Online. Today we're going to talk about a new topic in algebra called exponential growth and decay. And the equation that we use for something like that is a general equation. Let me write it down. It's a quantity uh, as a function of time is equal to the initial quantity times e to the k times t. Now, k is just a constant. It's called the growth constant. And if k is a positive number, then the quantity is increasing. We can also use the equation q as a function of time is equal to q initial times e to the minus kt. So if k is a negative number, then we're talking about the decline or decay of the quantity. All right, so that's the general equation that we're going to be using. And in this particular example, to, to use that, of course, q stands for quantity, but we can also use the, the letter p for population and things like that. So uh, let's look at our example. It says the population of a town is growing at a rate defined by the equation p is equal to p sub naught e to the 0.028t. So clearly this is the growth constant because it's a positive number, so it's a positive k. <clears throat> p initial stands for initial population and p is a population as a function of time in the future. If the population is 100,000 today, what will the population be in 10 years? So this is a, a, a um, exponential growth problem. So let's see how we solve something like this. Well, since they already gave us the growth constant and they give us the initial population p, let's write that down in the equation. So we can say that the population as a function of time in the future will be equal to the current population of 100,000 times e to the minus, oh, not minus, because it's a growth equation, e to the positive 0.028t. All right, so really what they're asking for is, what is the population in the future, p as a function of time, is equal to question mark when the time elapsed is equal to 10 years. All right, let's plug that into our equation. We plug in 10 for t, so the population, when time equals 10 years later, is equal to 100,000 times e to the minus 0.028 times 10. I keep wanting to put minus there. Uh, that's not a good thing because it's, the population is growing here. So the population as a function of time equals 10 is equal to 100,000 times e to the 0.28 because 10 times that is 0.28. And now we need a calculator. <clears throat> so we plug in 0.28 we hit the e to the x button, so let me write the intermediate solution down. 100,000 times, so e to the 0.28 is 1.323, round it off to three decimal places, and then we multiply times 100,000, and we get the population in 10 years, will be equal to 132,313 to the nearest one person. Okay. And that's how you do problems like that. Now notice that the growth in percentage can be described by this. So this would be a 32.3% growth in 10 years. So you can see how revealing that equation is and how you can glean information from that. But that's our first example. I have a, a number of examples ready for you, so when we go through all of them, I think you'll get a pretty good understanding of how exponential growth and exponential decay works. All right, so take a look at this, take a look at the next videos, and hopefully we'll get a hang of all that.